the Sierra Nevada. A vast 400 mile long mountain range dividing the Great Basin and Central Valley of California. Within these high mountains live some of the biggest trees on our planet. With all these massive trees and large animals, would it really be that far-fetched to believe something else lives there? Among natives, there are stories of tall, hairy creatures that go back thousands of years. But it wasn't until 1958 in the mountains above the Sierra Nevada that the name Bigfoot was coined. Today, the mountains of California still turn many visitors into believers of these creatures. But is there a truth behind all these stories, sightings, and evidence? This is where I jump in. Using all the abundant data and history of California, I located an area in the Sierras where the odds of the creature being seen are the highest. I will be exploring this area as well as launching a new special search tactic to finally get new documentation of it. This is Operation Bigfoot. The sun is already setting, so we're only going to be able to execute the plan tonight. Alright, it has been a year since we were last here. Although the experiment wasn't successful, I still do believe this area is a hot spot. Unfortunately, ever since we were last here, there has been a wildfire. More than half of the trees have perished, which means that some of the area has changed. But, there's a good chance that the parts that were not burned will have more animals clustered. So right now, the sun is going down, so I gotta get out there. It will be my first time in the area for a year. It has already been one year since I was last in the area, so this will be my first time seeing it in a year. I'm gonna see if I can get any sort of encounter. Let's go. All right, so we are on our way to the first spot. We're just gonna evaluate the area tonight, see if it's good. We're gonna try an old school tactic known as wood knocks. I'm 
back one year later. Let's get right to it. All right, let's go in. We are going into the fourth center. What the? Did you see something falling behind me? Did you see it? Yeah. Did you see it? Something falling behind yeah. me? That rock. Alright. I'm being honest. I think we did it a bit too much. Alright, anyway. Here is a little area of burnt trees. So some parts of this forest have been burnt. It's day two now, morning. I'm walking around, exploring. I'm gonna set up some cameras. What has happened to these trees? They're all black. Ugh. I think this is, this is just a little opening. There's lots of grass right here. Need to find a place to set up the camera. I'm going to set up a camera right here on this burnt tree. All right, I'm seeing gears over here. There's food in this area, that's good. I just set up the camera right here. It's facing this area where we just saw deer. All right, it is time for a new plan. Many sightings have happened on roads and there is a road that goes right through the area. With a car, I think the odds of catching a visual will be up, but to increase them even more, I am putting a camera on the car. And not just any camera, an all direction camera. It will film in every possible direction all at once. I think this is the best plan I could have ever come up with. So, it's game on. Final night starts now. After getting back from the woods, I analyzed every shot of every angle from the footage of the all-direction camera. And something stood out. Just one shot passing by a forested hill caught what appears to be a moving figure. Looking closer, I see what appears to be an arm swinging. The figure also looks bipedal, but it's too wide to be a person. So, what is this? Can I say this is what I've been looking for? Well, maybe. The more I look at this, the more I want to believe it is. But at first glance, it's almost hard to notice the figure is simply too far to catch any more detail. However, this search tactic was still successful. We were able to catch something unexplainable. What roams the Sierras that's widened bipedal? The mystery lives on. 